everyone, it's Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com and today I'm going to share with you how I made a wall saddle rack. So this is a saddle rack that you can mount on a wall and you can put your saddles on. I did this because I wanted to have a saddle rack that would hang up on the wall and it would take up less space than the saddle stands that I have in my tack room right now. So how I did this was I had some landscaping timbers that were basically leftovers from building horse jumps and stuff like that. And I wanted to use them up and I was like, I wonder if I could make a saddle rack. And I did. So I just took some landscaping timber remnants and I measured them off to 24 inches long because I wanted to make sure they were going to be long enough for my saddles. And then also if I had a Western saddle or something in the future, possibly, I wanted to make sure that it would, you know, be long enough for that as well. So then I found some old remnant um, green carpeting. It looks like AstroTurf. I had this left over from doing some horse jumps too. So I just took that and I wrapped it around the landscaping timbers. And on one end, I just kept it flush. And then on the other end of it, I made it so that it was kind of like a Christmas present. So I took off some of the excess of the AstroTurf carpet, whatever you want to call it. And then I just kind of wrapped it and stapled it down onto the end of the landscaping timber because that's the end that's going to be sticking out. And I wanted to make sure that it looked more finished. The other end, that's the flesh end, I didn't really care about that side because that's going to be facing the wall. So I just wanted to show you me doing this on a couple of them because the wall saddle rack stand, whatever you want to call it, that I made will hold three saddles. So I just did them all at the same time and I just wrapped the AstroTurf around it again, used my trusty staple gun and stapled the AstroTurf to the landscaping timber. And I just wanted to make sure that it was on there securely. But what's really neat about this is I didn't have to sand landscape timber or anything because the AstroTurf is covering it, which will give it a nice surface so that if I did put my saddles on there directly, it's not going to scuff up the saddles. And again, I'm just cutting off some of the excess and I'm going to wrap the end of the landscaping timber so it's going to be kind of more like a Christmas present um, just again to give it a nice finished appearance so that it looks pretty when my saddles are sitting on their brand new saddle rack. So once I had all of the saddle parts all finished and ready to go and I was happy with how they looked then I needed to attach the hook that they are actually going to hang on the wall rack with. So what I did was I actually put the hook in the eye, the screw eye first, because I want to make sure that these are going to rest flush against it and not like dangle down at all. So I put the hook in and then I attached it with three inch long screws to the actual part that's going to be the saddle stand. And I did this each time with each different saddle I guess you would call it like the saddle stand part just to make sure that it was perfect. This way I didn't have to add an extra piece of wood or anything to the end of the, the saddle part of it and I just took some longer screws, screwed them in and then they were ready to go. And the reason I like doing it like this is because when I'm, if I don't have my saddles out there, I can actually take the, this part of the saddle rack and I can hang it down as that one just fell down. But it makes it so I can either have it up for when it's in use or I can set it down. And this is what it will look like when it's done, sorta, of, because I wanna stain it and make it look pretty. But the saddle stand actually turned out very nice. It's very secure and I was very proud of how this worked out. Not too shabby, not too bad. So once I was pretty sure it was going to work out. I kind of skipped a part here. I kind of did this a little bit backwards. But what I did was I got a two by four piece of wood and I measured off six feet. And I wanted to show you that you don't have to have like the fancy, you know, radial arm saw like I have. I actually 
just used a jigsaw just to cut the two by four piece of lumber down to the size I wanted it to be. And again, it's a six foot long piece of lumber. So then I wasn't sure if the screw eyes were gonna be too long and would actually go through the two by four. So I had an extra piece of picket fence and I just attached that to the back side of the two by four. And again, you're not gonna see that. That side's gonna be against the wall and it actually makes it a little bit sturdier. And it will also make it so that the screw eyes will not be sticking out through the back of the two by four. And I didn't have a drill and I just happened to have my husband's brad nailer on the air compressor so i just used that to attach the picket fence piece of wood to the two by four piece of wood it made it go really fast and it was very nice much easier than screwing it on so once i got that done then one of the most important parts i think about this is to make sure that the two by four lumber is sanded smooth and looks nice and the reason i wanted to make sure it looks nice is i'm actually going to stain this wood so i want to make it as pretty as i can and it's not too hard to sand a two by four piece of lumber so i took my time and made sure i did a really good job of sanding it getting all the corners all rounded and making sure there's no splinters, no rough edges on the wood at all. I wanted it to look really nice because this is going to go in my tack room and hopefully just sit there forever and be beautiful. So that's why I took the time and to make it look nice, it maybe took five extra minutes to do that. Once I had it all sanded, this is where I'm gonna actually attach the screw eyes. And again, my piece of lumber was six foot long, so I put a screw eye at the two foot mark, four foot mark, and six foot mark. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep it that tall. It wasn't that hard to reach up to, but I'm, I'm not sure yet. I guess we'll see um, in the future when I actually hang it up. So once I marked it off, then I pre-drilled holes for the screw eyes to go into. And it they went in pretty easily, but I actually had a larger screw eye and I used that to turn the screw eyes into the holes because it makes it a lot easier because once you get the screw eyes probably halfway into the holes, it's really hard to turn them. Um, so having something that you can use for leverage makes it a lot easier. And you could use a screwdriver or whatever you happen to have. I just happened to have a larger screw eye. So it made it really easy and fast to get these little guys bolted down in there. And after I had the screw eyes in and it's all sanded and basically ready to go, um, I took some poly stain stain which is the same color that as you can see in the back i have some bridal racks that are drying but i poly stained this with a dark stain this is how this is the color i wanted it to be in my tack room so all of the stuff that i used for this it was remnants it was stuff that i had lying around i basically had to pay for the screw eyes and the hooks that i used to create the the saddle stands themselves it was very very inexpensive and the hooks that I used to create the saddle stands they are rope hooks and they're kind of like at an angle so it's like a hook you can get the U ones but the U ones cost about four dollars a piece the ones that are more like a like the angle those were only two dollars and ten cents a piece and they work just as well as the the U hooks for the saddle stands once it was all dry then I had to check, test it out and see how it would actually work. So I, I attached it to my front porch with some wire and then I put the saddle stands themselves in to see how they would hold up. They were fine. And then of course I had to go get my saddles and see what they would look like. And this is what they look like. That works really well. This is my homemade saddle rack that will go hanging on a wall in my tack room. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon.